Welcome to This Is Talking Sci-Fi with Sci-Fi Sean and just Randy. He's on the back side of the camera today. How are you doing? Say hi, Randy. Hi. Hi. Um, this, our special guest, who's really not a guest, but we've talked about her a lot. This is my wife, Lori. Hi, Sean. Hi, Lori. How are you? I'm great. How are you, Randy? I'm great. I'm also behind the camera. I know, that's, that's fine. fine. That's good. We're but good. we can see you. Yes. But they and that's what matters. No one can really hear him because he doesn't have the cool oh, ass Oh, you don't have the microphones on? Hey, you go. So we're going to do a, uh, some great videos this evening real quick because our drinking videos were so popular. We're going to do uh, show you how to make some really cool drinks tonight. Uh, Halloween season's coming up. People are going to be having parties and we get questioned all the time. You and Lori drink awesome drinks you show them on pictures on facebook and everything so randy just randy has decided hey why don't we do some drinking videos well we showed you how to do tranya which we're going to re-show you again so tranya is the drink that Lori and i um drink constantly we love it frequently frequently um it's made out of southern comfort and we're going to show you how to make this drink um and we're going to have a surprise guest come in and taste this drink once we uh decide and once we once we make it so we're going to move our ice out of the way basically you're going to start with ice you're going to get you a glass about this tall this is a what do they call it? a pilsner type glass you can use a styrofoam glass uh, which we do because it's a lot cheaper cup. and you don't have to wash dishes it's and it's a cup pretty much you know so we're going to fill our little cup with ice which is you know up to the top preferably depending on how good of ice that you have i'm using my hands i did wash my hands this evening so we're going to do two of these and um, we have that there. So basically what I do is I take the Southern Comfort and this is Tranya, a Star Trek drink. Uh, we talked about a little bit before. So we're gonna go and I'm gonna go light on our special guest because he's here and he may have to drive home. You fill it to where you like it. That's about two shots, two shots worth right there. I like a little bit more, but I'm gonna go light myself. And you can go heavier, it depends on what type of a drinker you are. Because um, this is Southern Comfort, it's very sweet, a lot of you guys know about it. I forgot my um, orange juice. Oh, well that's a big That is a big thing. It. Would our secret special guest go into the refrigerator and there is a cup of orange juice on the lower shelf in a plain cup. And uh, just, uh, we'll go ahead and this will be his intro to come in to see us. This drink, Trondi, was featured on an original Star Trek episode called Where No Man Is gone before i think it was that i'm losing it because i've already had and, a, a drink of charm and of course this is just two people talking sci-fi yeah and we're just two people talking sci-fi we may forget the names and everything but it was brought in by the, a uh, creature a space alien that the inter the original enterprise run up on called baylock and you'll remember the iconic head of the baylock and it ended up being a puppet because baylock was really this little short alien guy who was played by none other than clint howard so um, this is not our special guest, but she's making a guest appearance. This is our dog, Kitty. Um, so they came in, they met this guy, and they got this little drink. And actually, the drink they served him was a little cup like this. So but this is what we're making. So um, go ahead and get Kitty. Would you mind moving so our special surprise guest could come in, please? Um, come on in, surprise guest. There you go. You're good. This is, uh, you may remember our good friend Thomas Galvin III from Chilton Signs. Hi, Thomas. Hello. Thank you for our key ingredient. You're welcome. Really awesome. I just came straight from the orange grove. Did you really? <laughs> yes. This I is heard you freshly did. squeezed, yes. correct? So that's awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill the rest of this glass up with the orange juice to probably, and again, up to your liking, to about maybe right there on both of them. Now, if you're not an orange juice person, you can substitute the orange juice. You, oh, by the way, you have to bring uh, rags to wipe up the, the spooge because I'm a sloppy bartender. Spooge. So you can use Coca-Cola, not Pepsi. Do oh. not use Pepsi. Use Coca-Cola. Pepsi's too sweet. Pepsi is way too sweet for this drink. Um, then we're going to a little stir here. And straws are very important for space drinks. We're going to use green because green is an awesome space drink color. We're going to stir it up a little bit. And just so I'll be a little different, I'm going to get a different color because I don't want uh, Thomas's cooties. So I'm going to turn up. You got cooties, right? I had my shots, but... Okay, the circle, circle, dot, dot. Yes. Stir it up pretty good. And then we're going to use my surprise ingredient, which makes this drink. This is grenadine. 
it's cherry flavored. They have a cherry, they have cherry pomegranate, they have strawberry, but cherry is the key drink. So we're gonna squirt a good little squirt in there on each little drink. It's gonna make it kind of a kind of a nice little thing. Some people might call this a Sumerian sunrise, but sunset, sunrise, depending on which side of the planet you're on, Samaria, but uh, which is another Star Trek planet. We're gonna stir that up, get it nice and kind of there, and we're gonna let Thomas Galvin the third master um, builder of car wraps and other logos at Chilton Signs, one of our sponsors, and props, and props. props. You've seen his prop episode with us that we did, and we did time. He's a time travel master expert prop, too. Yeah. Thank you, master prop builder. Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Master loser of makeup. Here. No. <laughs> Cheers. Let's Cheers. see. Get, get a little sip and tell me what you All think right. about it. Well, that's tart. It is very tart. It's very tarty. Mm -hmm. um, no, but it's smooth. Okay. Smooth and tarty. Uh, fruity. And I would uh, drink a glass of that. Yes. Awesomeness. So who were some of the... Um other characters in the episode that you were talking about. Who was it that had the drink? It was uh, Clint Howard's. Uh, he was the he, Baylock. Yes. yes, he comes flying up in this giant ship. Insert picture here, and he's always it, the Enterprise. The original Enterprise is like this to a giant ball this big. So they're coming up and they're they're scared to death because they reached the barrier that Starfleet had finally went the furthest they could go and they were about to go into another part of the uh, galaxy uh, which was controlled by the old federation not federation of planets but an alien federation so Baylock comes up and no one's going to be afraid of this little troll little munchkin looking guy ball head cute he, he, he looks like a little kid because he is a little kid Clint Howard was little in this episode he hasn't yeah. aged he's he still he, looks the he same he looks identical and this from that episode the only, <laughs> yeah right and it isn't the only Star Trek episode he's been in he's been in Deep Space Nine he's yep. been Ferengi I remember he's, the Ferengi he was in um, Star Trek Discovery as a matter of fact when they went to the Orion uh, went to the Klingon home world to the Orion colony he was a pimp Drug addict. Bar. He was in the bar. Yep, he was drinking in the hookah bar. Yeah, in the hookah bar, and he was selling one of the members of uh, some they were inhaling. So yes, it's a great episode if you watch it. It's an older episode, so um, we're gonna go ahead. So basically, let me go over the drink mix one more time. Southern Comfort. Get it at Walgreens or any of your fine liquor stores. <laughs> orange juice. Walgreens is a fine liquor store. It is. <laughs> Regular orange juice and uh, grenadine. If you don't like orange juice, you use Coca-Cola product. Fake Coke from Publix is great. We use that a lot. Pepsi just seems a little too sweet for it. It'll make it brown, not orange. So, so you, it's a Tranya Fizz? It's a Tranya Fizz. Or you can name it something else, you know. It's like Dark Tranya. For those who can't handle light Tranya, it's Dark Tranya. It's a lager, so an ale. It's more of an alcoholic beverage than an ale. So mix them together, drink it, enjoy it, and... Uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for coming by. Oh, thank you. I know it was kind of by a mishap. You I know, am, but hey. Things going good for you? How, yes, not too shabby. We're going to be having you back on the show again, so once that uh, okay. royalty check comes in from Shilton Sign. All right, so, I will look know. forward for that. And uh, we really appreciate it. Tell your wife, Jessica, we said uh, hello and we miss her. All right. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. This okay. has been talking, uh, this has been mixing drinks with Sean and Lori on Talking Sci Fi. <laughs> See you soon.